guys, Ashley Elizabeth here with AEHM Artistry and today I'm going to show you how to take your brushes from this to this. Mm. Hopefully you saw my video about the Wet n Wild $30 Pro brush set from Walgreens and I've heard a lot of people complain that they can't get those brushes to unstain, they can't get them white and beautiful again, and today I'm going to show you how I like to do it and how I like to clean not only these brushes but any brushes. I've never had a problem with my white brushes staining. In fact, I actually really like to use white brushes because when I clean them, I know that they're clean. Unlike black brushes, it's kind of like wait until the water runs clear. With the white brushes, like you know that is like not stained, not and it's totally clean and everything. So if you want to find out, then keep watching. And also, if you watched that video, you would know that I actually really like that brushes from the first impression. But the question is, do I still like them? And the answer is yes. I've been using these for a week now, and I am absolutely in love. Again, the eye brushes are okay. Um, that one blending eye brush, I really am not a fan of. The and the other brush I was having a trouble with is the technically the blush brush. I don't really like it for blush because it just is too. Uh, patchy and uneven, but I really like it for my powder foundations. It went on really airbrushed, really smooth and flawless, and it feels so nice on the face. But anyways, you can watch the other video if you haven't yet. I'll link it right up top, and let me show you how to clean your white brushes. Hello! So what you need is the Sigma Matte for cleaning brushes. I absolutely love this matte. This is actually the Express, and I got the small one because it is a little bit better for my bathroom sink. You can do the ginormous one, but I just feel like it's too much. So I'm gonna be talking with my hands a lot here. And then I love the Jane Iredell Truly Pure Shampoo and Conditioner Brush Shampoo. So you can pick this up anywhere that sells Jane Iredell. A lot of spas carry it, dermatologist office, Planet Beauties if you're in California. And I think you can get it on Jane Iredell's website, of course. And if you can get it on Amazon, I will definitely link that down below. But my absolute favorite brush shampoo cleans really quickly, really fast, and keeps the integrity of my brushes. So really simple, if you've never seen this before, you just get about tepid water. And I actually put my brush shampoo right along the outer rim of that. Now let's start with a really dirty guy there for you to see. So nice eyeshadow on there. I wet it. This side, which would be my left, is the eyeshadow side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then bring it through here. If it still has some stain, I'll bring it through the refine section. And then you just take all the water off. You can just rinse in this section, but I just rinse it off like normal. Rinse off the brush. And as you can see, no more stain. And then I lay a towel that I have right here. So let's do another super dirty one. And I take it to the new shampoo side and then bring it back over. So I just have a little bit still right on the edge so I can just take that again, work it back and forth. This brush is flat so you want to make sure you rub it on the flat side as to not disturb the bristles and then drag it across and then rinse in that flat portion as well. It's hard with eye brushes, but try not to get too much water up inside because that's how the glue will get dislodged. So much better, much cleaner. And then lay flat either to dry or upside down if you have the Sigma rack because you don't want to dry sitting up because water will get down and dislodge the glue. Let's go ahead and show you what the face brush looks like getting clean and then I will fast forward through all of it. This guy is pretty dirty. All right, awesome possum. I'm gonna finish up all my brushes and then wrap up. All right, you guys, and also remember to let your brushes dry overnight if you have time, and also lay them in a position that will help with their natural brush shape, and kind of, you know, if it's a pointed tip one, kind of 
you know, just a little, little point right there. The only brush that really gave me a challenge was the foundation brush. It's probably just because the oddball shape of it. It's a little bit harder to get into the little nooks and crannies. So I did wash that one a few times and now it's really pretty and nice. Just so you know, I've used this with I think three or four different foundations already and I absolutely love it. I've used it with the Kat Von D Locket Foundation, the Tarte Rainforest Clay, the Fenty, and then there was one other one. The Tarte Gel Hybrid Foundation that I was struggling, struggling, struggling with. You saw my first impressions and I was still struggling, but I found one way to make it work, but this brush actually looks really nice and way more full coverage. So a little tip for you there. I hope that you enjoyed this and you learned a little something and you can help get your brushes cleaner. If you like what you saw today, please go down and hit that subscribe button before you fall down the rabbit hole, which is YouTube, and click on other videos and da 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 da. Don't forget to subscribe to me if you would like to see more videos. I post two times a week, so I got lots of content for you. And you can also go and hit up my channel right here and talk out all the 50 plus videos that I have. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great, lovely day.